Like, ah, see this shit? Y'all see this? Do you see the situation I'm in you too? Do you see it? Now, before I push the button, right, it was clear. The video was clear. And now it's just like, boom. You can't see anything. Um, I'm in my living room like always. In my living room like always. And I had on shorts, so I put this little, my robe. This is my favorite robe. And, like, little things to me mean the world to me. I got this for Christmas and I cherish it. And I keep it and I wear it all the freaking time. Oh, so I'm supposed to be redoing this damn hair. You probably can't see this. Um, I don't know if you can, can you see that. Oh, I need to get a lamp or some shit. Um, but I'm redoing my hair. It's gonna be bright, bright red. Um, yeah. So I kind of wanted to talk. Um, I was like, I was at work and I was remembering something me and my little sister would do when I was younger. And since I was younger, I. We, we would sing and we would we would <laughs> we would rap and we would dance and it wasn't like we really were doing it like we were really performing for a live audience even though it was just me and her and um what was I about to say so we had this song we wrote this whole rap and we used to do like <laughs> I used to torture you my little sister my little brother when I was when I was younger but it was like you know like normal older brother, younger sister. Like one time I told her, um, <laughs> we were in the bath, we were in the bathroom and she, we were like washing up, getting ready to put on our clothes. So she put on her underwear, but she had them on the right way. And so I was like, that's not the right way. So she took them off, she put them on backwards. I said like 50 times, by the time she was hysterical. I ain't gonna do that to him. Sorry, sweet sister, little sister, honey, I'm sorry I did that to you. But, and then I used to do stuff like me and my little brother would play, um, I was like, always, always had, I didn't really have a childhood, so I always had, um, we always would get involved in like our imagination. That's why I still have a great imagination now, because um, we would uh, play um, Popeye and Bluto, and I would be Pop, I would be Bluto, my little brother would be Popeye, and um, you know, when Popeye eats his spinach, he gets strength and beats Bluto up, but me, because I'm an agitator and aggravator, when my brother would eat Play. He would eat, actually, he would eat, that's what got him to eat spinach. He would eat actual spinach with Popeye on a little can. And so um, he would eat the spinach and then he would go, dun, dun, dun. Then, you know, I'm strong to the finish because I eat me spinach. But I wouldn't allow him to be strong. I would beat him up. So. <laughs> that's awful, huh? But that's just normal kid stuff. I would beat him up all the time, even though he had the spinach. He would start crying and stuff. I was just, I was just not nice when I was younger to my little brother and sister. And um, me and my little sister, we would um, just give me just a little talk. Um, yeah, I have a lot of time on here. Just a little talk to you guys, getting to know me a little bit. Um, like my younger days. And so um, we would um, we would make up dances. And um, uh, <laughs> one time I cut my sister's bangs. <laughs> I don't know, like, you know, I was like, I could do it, I can cut your hair, I could do it. She like, you can do it. I'm like, yeah, she like she wanna bang. So when I cut it, it wasn't even. So by the time I was done, it was <laughs> her bangs were up to here. That was awful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for all the things I did, you guys. Yeah, but um we had fun too. Like we would um we would fight like cats and dogs though, me and my little sister. But we would also we would fight each other, but when stuff wasn't too great, which is most of the time. We would band together and we would just create our own world. Like we would just, we would, we, we had these car canal outfits back in the day. She had, I think I had a green one. She had a red one and my brother bought, that's the only thing Moldy's brother really ever bought us. So he bought us that. And so we put it on and we, we had this whole dance. If you try my love, try my love, you'll never ever go back. And then I would get on the floor. Didn't I blow your mind this time? Didn't I? Ha ha. I, feel, I wish you could remember the rap. One day I might have her on here. We just talk about stuff we used to do. And um, we used to like, we would like really get mad at each other when we were younger. Like we, we would perform like we were performing for people. In our head there were people. So if one of us messed up, we would like get so mad and be like, they ain't gonna never pick us if you don't do it right. Like I just remember, I remember some good, I remember a lot of good times in my childhood. I remember a lot of fucked up times, you know, but the good times my little sister, my little brother had, they were priceless. You know, we would, um, 
I know we mostly were inside with our things. Like I know we couldn't celebrate Christmas, so what we did was we put a. Um, we wanted to celebrate Christmas so bad. And I think that's why I held on to Christmas for so long. That when I got older, like I get to, I, sometimes I did, I digress. So let me go back. We couldn't celebrate Christmas, so what we did was we put a um, we had like a light in the room. We took a sheet using our brand imagination. We took a sheet and we hung it up on this like nail. And we, when you know when it drops, it drops down like a Christmas tree. So we had in the room we put earrings in it and we. We, that was our Christmas tree. I mean, it was just like it was a, to us. It, was a, it looked it was a real tree. To everybody else, it's a sheet with earrings in it. But to us, it was a real tree. And then we would like um, wrap up stuff that we already had and for presents. And I don't know. It was, it was nice, but it was it was sad because we couldn't celebrate Christmas. It was really sad. And then when I got when my mother finally let us celebrate Christmas, it just like I held on to Christmas because I wasn't able to to enjoy it for so long that I held on to it, and I was like. One time, my mother and my sister were fighting or something, and uh, they were going by my tree, and I dove for the tree. Instead of <laughs> I dove for the tree, so they would knock my... That's how much I love Christmas. Like, I got over it now. Now, I'm just like, Christmas, I don't have kids or whatever, but at that, for like a couple of years, Christmas was... It's like a, the most, like, it is the, it's the, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It really is. But, you know, now I know that like, Christmas is Christmas. You know, I... I I have Christmas in me all the time, and I'm always, you know, you don't have to really um, have that one day to, to give. You can give, you can give not just gifts, you can give um, um, compliments, smiles, and, and, you know, like, yeah. So sometimes, like, I'm not, sometimes I go from 50 subjects back to one, you just have to keep, stay with me, okay? So sometimes, like, I remember this is going way, we're not talking about that anymore. But, like, one time it was this girl. She's getting out of her car. This has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But it has something to do with me talking about compliments. So, it was this girl getting out of her car. And we were, like, going into um, Burger King or something. And she had a... She, she was, like, a really pretty girl. She had this... Her boyfriend was, like... He wasn't that attractive. I think it's because his spirit. He would just be little in her and yelling at her and just being so evil to her. And, I, and I'm looking at her. And I looked at him. I said, excuse me, your hair is so pretty. It just seems like when I said that, she lit up. And when she lit up, he went down. You know what I mean? Like, it's like she, I don't know, like she just, confidence or something, I don't know. But she did have, really, her hair was really beautiful. It was the way it was cut. I said, I love your haircut. It's so pretty. And then he just like stopped feeling. I didn't like that. He was really, excuse me, guys. He was really going in for the kill. Like, I don't like that. It's like when you see somebody... Don't go in for the kill. When you see somebody you're winning or somebody is not trying to um, fight you on something, then stop it. And I know how it feels because I was done that. And I probably did the people that way too. So I know how it feels. And forgive me, Lord, for that. But yeah. So um, I just wanted to talk a little bit today, guys. I haven't been doing a lot of videos, so I want to try to start doing more videos. And um, more some singing videos and um, talking videos. Because I have a lot of singing videos. So a little bit more talking videos. And um. Just explaining this random stuff that happens. Yeah, so anyway, that happened, that girl. I just I just thought about that. And there was one time, I'll tell you this story. One time I was in McDonald's. And I, I was shopping that day. And I, I went to McDonald's and I, I was hungry. And I just went across the street to McDonald's. So um, it's this lady who was in McDonald's with two kids. Um, and um, she went to the, she was at the, I don't know if she was, at, I don't know what she was in there. She was in McDonald's, they were sitting in there. And so, um, I went to get my food and I came, I sat down in a seat right here and they were over there. And so I, I couldn't, I don't, can't see too good, but I looked across the table and I saw that they were eating something, but they were all sharing one thing. And I didn't know, I thought it was like McDonald's cookies or something. I don't know. And so I was like, I can't sit here across from these people and see them sharing one, whatever it was, it was all three of them eating out of one thing. So I just got up and I went to the counter and, um, I got um, three cheeseburgers, yeah, and, and like uh, two large fries, you know, like, and then I, I, I was like nervous because I didn't want her to feel like I was trying to um, belittle her or put her down. So I walked up to her, I said, I'm, I said, please don't think I'm trying to be funny, but I, but before I come back, when I got the food and started walking over to the table to tell, to give her the food, my heart fell into my feet and I felt like, oh my God. Because I realized what they were eating. They were eating dry noodles. Like, you know, Roman noodles, like in a pack. They, 
And the kids, the thing about it, the kids were just having a good time eating it. They didn't know. You know what I'm saying? They weren't really, I guess as long as they had food. You know, the, the kids weren't really worried. I know mama was probably having a nervous breakdown and not having food for her kids. And when I walked over to give her the food, I just felt, oh my God, like my whole soul fell to the ground. And I'm like, because I know what it feels like to be hungry. So I'm like, um, I, to I told her, I said, um, please don't think I'm, um, please don't take this the wrong way. But I, I wanted to help you. And so I gave her the food and, and I was like, you want drinks? So I went back to the counter and got them all three large drinks. And then um, it just wasn't enough for me. And I just reached in my pocket and gave her a couple of dollars and said, you know, just for later. Well, that like freaked me out. Like. I would never, ever deny somebody food, ever. No matter if they got on the best clothes or anything. If somebody's really hungry, like really in this life, if somebody asks me for something, I give. if I want to give it to you, I will. I'll give it to you. I don't need to know what you're doing with it or anything. It's not my business, not my place. It's my. If I want to give it, I'll give it. Whatever you choose to do with it, that's on you. But I, I, I hate when people, how people can sit and see somebody asking you for food. And you just be like, ah, get out of here. Like, how could you be? I don't, I just, that just, I don't understand it. Like, this one man was, I feel like if a person walks up to you and says, can you give me something to eat? They're really hungry. It took, it takes a lot of pride for a person to ask for, for food. Now, money, people really, really do that. Some people, you know, are pride for they, they don't really, but people, when somebody, it takes, for somebody to admit, I guess, like for me, to, for me to admit that I'm really hungry, I have to be really desperate to walk up to you and say, can I have food? And for somebody to say, get out of here. What do you, no, I don't, I, I just, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't get that. But yeah, that, that happened. So I'm like, wow. And like me, I'm a giver. So if I have money, I know people say, don't, I, I hate people that don't tell me what to do. It's my money. Leave me alone. If they want to go get 50 beers with the money, that's their business. I don't care. They asked me for it and I felt the need to give. So I'm going to give. I don't care what you're doing with the money. You don't have to explain it to me. Like on my, um. If my family asks me for money and I have it, I get it. They don't, you don't have to tell me what you want to do with the money. You ask me for money. It's not my place or my position to know what you're doing with it. Just know that you need it, you know? So, yeah. But people are like, oh, don't do that. I, I hate that. I, I can't fathom it. I can't even fathom somebody knowing somebody's hungry and you not to give them something. I don't even understand that. I can't even begin to understand how you could do that. And then for you to look like, you know, there are these, um, I watch YouTube a lot. You guys, you know, I watch YouTube, you guys, I watch YouTube, but I, I watch it a lot. And so they do these social experiments and sometimes things people do restore my faith in humanity. And sometimes I, I don't understand how you could, some people could be so cold, how somebody could be so freaking cold. There was a survey of this little, this, this boy, he was, um. Standing outside for reason, cold weather. Do you hear me? People who had on coats, scarves, hat, and walking past him. He out there shaking. It was a, it was an experiment. He had a, he was inside a garbage bag just with a sign. Then he eventually was shaking. I mean, and, and people were just walking. I don't even understand that. I would go in the store and get every freaking thing I could get. Scarves, clothes, and I would try to help him any way I can and find him somewhere to go. I couldn't rest. How could you go home at night knowing that somebody, you see a child like that? I don't get this world. I don't get people in this world, some people. And then some people restore my faith in humanity. Some people do stuff and you're like, oh my God, there are really good people out in the world. And some people make you just say, what the fuck is going on? You know, like, I don't understand it. Like, how could you see a child outside? And the, nowadays, people would rather record you than to help you. And I don't get that either. You know, somebody help them. You know, war, star, I don't, I don't even get that. I don't, I just, maybe I'm not of this world or something. Because I know there's people out there like me that don't freaking get it. I don't get it. I don't think I ever will. And then when people do stuff like help or just give un without thinking, it restores my heart and faith in humanity. And I know this world isn't all shot to hell. I know there's some angels here, some good people in this world. Sometimes I just feel like, what am I in a twilight zone? Somebody can ask you for food. You could have a, a lot of money. Somebody asks you for food because they have good clothes. That doesn't mean shit. They ask you for a food. You're going to tell them, get away from me. No, I don't have no money. Could you, excuse me? And then you have a homeless person that doesn't have anything with share their last with you. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but that pisses me off, guys. Like, it really does. And it's like this world is so full of fucked up people. I don't understand it. 
I don't understand how you can see people freezing outside, not trying to offer. You got one time I had coats. And I had like I, I just get here. I don't I don't want you to be cold. I couldn't go home in my bed at night and sleep knowing that you out there in that cold like that. It just would eat me up. And some people just sleep. They'll sleep nice. No one is a person outside um, freezing to death. You just sleep. How could you sleep? But how could you look at yourself in a mirror every day? How could you? That's what I don't understand. I wouldn't. I, I, I guess because I, I didn't have much growing up, and I thank the Lord that you know my struggle was bad, but it taught me a lot. It taught me to have a heart. You know, it taught me to struggle. So that that way, if my lights be cut off. It's like I know how to survive, and I won't kill myself. Cause some people don't know. They some people that that live with a lot of money, they don't understand how to survive without it, and that's when they go crazy. And you know, sometimes you go through stuff, and you wonder why. It's everything I went through made me the person who I am today. Everything I went through made me stronger. You know, so it was a blessing in the end, but in the end, it was a curse. A curse, but it turned into a blessing. You know, it fucked me up mentally and spiritually, but I'm healing. You know what I'm saying? So, but I can handle what you can throw at me. And that's the thing, like, stuff people say to me, I'm just like, in this life, you laugh at people. You don't let somebody get you all riled up about what? For what? Especially when you have a lot to lose. You know what I'm saying? Life is where it's crazy. You don't need to stress yourself out of a person who doesn't mean you shit for harm. So in this life... Live, love, laugh, and by all means, fuck. But don't let anybody pull you down. Have humanity. Restore, restore the faith in humanity. Help somebody else. Pay it forward. If you have some extra money, give it to somebody. Don't think you're above somebody because what God gives, he can take away. So don't think you're above somebody. You know, you people make fun of people that's, you know, brain damaged or, 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 or mentally challenged. You can get hit in the head tomorrow and be the same way. So think about it. Anything can struck you at any point, you could be the same person. So never think you're above somebody, guys. I just wanted to talk about a little bit of that. My time's running out. Got like 20 minutes on here. Yeah, so um springtime brings blue time. In the corners of my mind where you used to lay. Don't say it's alright, love. Just promise me you'll stay. Stay, stay, stay. You handed me that rose is at the door. But it ain't fair to me. But it ain't the same. I guess babe. I guess love Take my hand babe And let's fly into the stars And make it our home Don't leave me stranded no Cause I don't want to be alone, no, no, alone. You kiss my lips a thousand million times. And it makes me okay. But it ain't the same. I get space. I guess love, I guess faith, I guess love, treat me softly, hold me in your arms real tight, never let me go. Whisper in my ear, love, until the night passes slow, 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 slow. You're looking in my deep eyes, and then you realize, love, but it ain't the same. I guess I, I 
Daddy Games Love. So guys, it's Princess Shaw. This is the Chronicles of my bullshit fucked up roller coaster life. But it's my life. I love it. And I'm out. Bye guys. You too.